Hello and welcome to basic Linux commands. In this video, we'll play around the Linux system using basic commands. This video is an absolute beginner's guide to start using Linux command line interface, Linux CLI. Let's get started. Our first command is ls. ls command will list the directory content. Since we are in the home directory, it's to list all the contents in the directory. Um, here the items in blue blue represent the directory or folders in the white represent files this pink type color reads our uh, image and this uh, sky blue type color uh, represent a uh, symbolic link our next command is the cd change directory cd commands will take one argument that is where to change our the current directory let's change our directory to this folder basic linux command basic now we are inside basic linux command as we already know to use ls command let's, uh, let's try what is inside this directory ls we have one two three four five five folders in here uh, so change directory cd will change our working directory to the argument that's provided our next command is pwd pwd which will write the word we will display the we will send output uh, which is the current the present working directory and this will display the present working directory we are in the home and they've got that that's the username and the basic linux commands this is the current directory we are in let's let's enter inside this basic folder and let's try pwd again now since we are inside the basic folder this is our current working directory okay our next command is cat let's list what's uh, what are in this folder what contents are in the filter with ls command in the directory with ls command we have info.txt and ls our next command is cat cat will simply display the content of a file let's uh, use that with this info.txt file .txt this info.txt content this this message uh, that cat will display the content in that in that file let's check basic linux command and with inside basic here is uh, info.txt and this is the content we see in our uh, this is the content we see in our terminal okay okay our next command is echo you see also echo will simply return what we pass in uh, pass to this command just like that echo hello will return back hello okay equal hello will return back hello our next command is a um, man which is manual this man command will display the manual to use a command let's try that man with echo okay echo echo display a line of text it gives the name uh, a little description and how to use and any description that uh, uh, any options we pass in and to quit from this page we will press q uh, this is also written in here q also let's try man with ls okay ls is list directory content so as you know anything that i'm i'm telling here is from that manual page okay our next command is make directory so how to make a directory or folder something like let's check what are in this content again we simply have one file or two files let's try mkdir and let may name a file test if the command is successful no no output message will be given let's try that alas again okay now we have that that directory called the test here let's go inside there cd 
this okay since this the new directory there is nothing content inside the test and that ls command display nothing also let's learn something new about cd cd and dot dot will get back one step back in the directory okay so now we are now again in the basic directory we have another command rmdir this will remove the directory let's make another directory just to remove that mkdir test 2 ls now test 2 is also created rmdir test 2 okay now list that test test 2 is clear and we have now we only remain test what if what if there is some content in and that uh, test directory i'll just simply write this command i'll tell i'll talk about this uh, later this will simply create a file name hi let's get back our directory we are in the basic commands again let's try to delete this test, uh, test folder rm dir tst the directory fail to remove directory test directory not empty rmdir will only direct the, delete the directory that are empty to delete the directory which are not empty we'll use rm dash r test this will delete the directory that's r is an option that's a recursive li something like that okay now the directory is cleared our next command is exit for now let's i'll do that next okay we'll move on to next command clear clear will clean the screen let's type c l e r this will clean the screen now everything is clean but if we want to look back there is we can scroll back and it will simply be here but this will just simply move uh, move our scroll our step back so we can see the clean clear hood screen Okay, the next command is exit this will simply close the directory close the terminal if we are in the local machine uh, if we are in a remote remote machine connected to our terminal this will close the remote connection and we are in we'll we'll get back to the local machine okay let's try this and close this terminal okay now let's open that terminal again mm, to open that terminal we can press ctrl alt and t okay let's go to same basic okay now we are in the basic folder okay our next command is dots as I had already used that toss command will create create a file cs t s t i n g okay if we pray ls now we can see a file named the testing is created okay toss will create a file the reason we will use toss is that the this will take uh, the current timestamp uh, while creating file uh, also we can pass a different argument to thoughts a different argument to thoughts that will use that timestamp uh, we'll talk about that in some later videos our next command is tree this will display the tree structure of, um, of our directory okay we need to install that it's not available then let's skip that command it's not in my machine at okay uh, our next command is a cp cp command will copy one file wow well, one file to another file wow well, or uh, one uh, directory to another directory list copy the content in that info.txt to another file let's cp the first argument is the original file and next is next is the destination file okay okay oh, if we alas the item will find that final here and cat final 
let's see what's inside and uh, there is I'm um, same exactly the thing that it's in the in profile okay let's see that okay our next command is mv or move move command will move a file from one place to another place okay cd or let's make another directory okay we have a test directory there let's move this final inside the test directory mv final to test slash okay now if we check the final is not in this directory and let's go inside the test let's alas and here is the final okay we find that content also we can um, mb command is used to rename a file okay let's mb final to fina allow finally okay if we see it again alas it's now the final is the change to finally okay our next command is who am i who am i this will display the username of the current logged in user uh, as uh, my username is that good this will display this okay, our next command is history history will show the list of commands um, we have we have been using say so, s t o r y history okay that we last time we had used who am i there is alas there is mb all these commands are we had used okay let's clear that and another command is wc wc will count the words in a file count the words lines words and each size or byte let's run that command with finally okay so this output is uh, one is one line uh, 33 is uh, 33 words and 208 is 228 byte okay let's try that with some simple file uh, less okay uh, it has thus just a one line one two three four five six one two three four five six okay wc ls okay one line uh, six uh, six words and 42 byte okay our last command for this video is a nano uh, let's see uh, try nano is a text editor a command line text editor let's uh, write some content to that uh, testing file let's first check is if there is anything inside that see it cat testing Okay, there is nothing uh, nano okay okay here are some commands we you need to know uh, so the, the one that we need to know is that write out that's control plus o if we place control and o it will write and enter so we can the, now the content is written in that file and another is control x this will exit the command uh, there are other um, commands uh, that you may need to use for now uh, control o to write and control x to exit control x okay let's cut the file okay yes hello how are you you see okay let's again write uh, other content here good how are you okay right exit nano testing no yeah, <coughs> testing. okay now we have changed the file let's test that wc command again with the uh, this file ts ts testing okay we have now we have two line 10 words 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 19 and 42 byte okay the key is to 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 key to learn linux command is to give it a try and keep learning keep uh, playing around the linux system uh, just play around 
use the commands that I have shown here. These are the commands that we will use basically every day to play around with and to work in the system. Uh, I'll be covering many other other commands in further videos. Thank you.